Natives Beats. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Willow Canyon. I'm Lexi. And I'm Cece, and you're watching The Morning Show. As you know, it's Misfit Toy Wednesday this Spirit Week. Cece, what are you today? I don't know any mis Misfit Toys, so I didn't dress out. That's no problem, because if you forgot to dress up this Wednesday, feel free to come out to the Buffalo Wild Wings events in your Misfit Toy clothing. Well, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Photo and Media Club meetings met yesterday, so if you didn't have a chance to attend, go to Miss McTagg or Mr. Walker's room for any of the information you might have missed. Our club also met yesterday, so please go see Miss McKinley in room 119 for information. Now let's learn a new word of the day. The word of the day is instigator. Noun. Person who entices someone to do something. I got in trouble for the prank, but my brother was the real instigator. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so Lexi, please give me the scoop. Well, Anime Club and STEM Club meetings are every Friday. If you have any questions about Anime Club, go see Ms. Ratowski. Tutoring buses are also available today and tomorrow for those of you that are staying after school to study for finals. You must have a signed pass from your teacher in order to get on the buses. They depart at 4.30. The DECA holiday party is next Thursday, December 18th. This is a white elephant gift exchange type party, so bring a gift that is under $10 and see Ms. Fusel in order to sign up for anything that you can bring to this party. So, if you miss any of our announcements, you can read them online at www.ontheproud.org. Well, that newspaper sounds wonderful. And now let's hear the weather from Jacob. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Jacob. And first, let's start off with a public service announcement. Hey, folks. Andrew Kramer here. I'm here to teach you how to make your way in the dark. Hey, folks. It's been three hours, and uh, I, I, th I think I'm lost. Folks, I, I've, I've been lost for a total of three weeks. My, my socks are wet. Uh, I, I probably have Ebola at this point. I hate carrying this lantern. I, I wish I wish there was some some sort of crazy video editing skills that could cut this here and put in some anecdote about how I lived happily ever after. Uh, guys, I'm really freaked out. I think I think somebody's following me. Find your way. Join a CTE class today. Welcome back, Wildcats. Tomorrow's high is 75 and a low of 51 with sunny skies. It's sunny and cold with light south winds coming at 10 miles per hour. Sunrise 645, sunset at 735 p.m. And now on to the rest of the week. The rest of the week, we have a 10% chance of rain all week up until about Saturday, where there's a gigantic 40% chance of rain. Wow, am I right? Highs in the mid-70s and lows in the high 40s with sunny skies Thursday and Friday. And now back to your main anchors, Lexi and Cece. Well, thank you, Jacob, for the weather update. That weather sounds beautiful. Yes, and with that weather, I could use a really nice hot cup of coffee. Where can I get one, Lexi? Well, I know that the Cove has been selling hot coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. So that sounds really enjoyable, doesn't it? Yeah, how much? Only $2. Wow, I, I think I got my beanie there, actually, for only $10. Yeah, that's great for all students to keep warm this season. So it's starting to get a little cooler with that rain coming in. So, there's also going to be a President's Council meeting next Monday, December 15th. All clubs, including sports, must send their club representative 
or their president. See Ms. O'Leary for any additional information or sign up for the Remind 101 by sending a text to at WCHSPC1415 and send that to 81010. And after this commercial break, Johnny and Jacenia will give us an update on sports. Hey, uh, can I get a uh, rock and refuel chocolate milk, please? One rock and refuel chocolate milk coming right up. Is the apparatus set for the approved trajectory? Yes, we are set to the approved trajectory. Target is approximately three meters north of us. Prepare for liftoff. Five, four, three, two, one. Rocket refuel chocolate milk! Wow, that was awesome! Yeah, awesome and a dollar. Oh yeah, right. Hello, wonderful Wildcats, I'm Johnny. And I'm Jacenia with your sports update. Today your girls soccer teams will be playing Carl Hayden here. The JV game will be at 4 and varsity at 6. Go out and cheer on your Lady Wildcats. And go check out the boys soccer teams today. Their games are against Carl Hayden at Carl Hayden. They'll be at 4 and 6. Then on Friday, your boys' basketball teams will be playing Dysart High School at Dysart at 4, 5.30, and 7. Also on Friday, your girls' basketball team will be playing North High here at Willow at 5.30 and 6. On Friday, your boys' and girls' soccer teams will be playing Millennium. Boys' soccer will be here at 4 and 6, and girls will be at Millennium at 4 and 6. And we can't forget about your varsity wrestling team. They will have the Red Mountain Invite, and the times and locations are still to be announced. For more information, contact Coach Shane. The invite will continue through Saturday. And now on for some AZ Sports. Congratulations to the Arizona Cardinals on their win Sunday versus the Chiefs. They will be playing the St. Louis Rams this Sunday at 625 and you can watch it live on Fox. So yesterday there was a question about what two teams had the most Heisman Trophy winners. Do you know, Jacinia? I believe it's USC and Notre Dame. That's a great answer. Now back to your main anchors. Thank you, Johnny and Jacinia, for that sports update. The Cultural Connections Club is meeting today at 2.30, room 239. For more information, please contact Dr. Ward. Are you exceptionally smart and interested in science and math? Well, then come show your skills in the Science Bowl. Their meetings are every Thursday in Mr. Barrington's room, room 903. They're looking for students that would like to apply their skills in science, math, and yet other schools in a Jeopardy-style competition. So come to their meetings in Mr. Barrington's room tomorrow. There will also be a Pride of the People meeting today in, at 2.30 in room 228. So, I have exciting news for the senior class right after this break. Are you thirsty? Because I am. Oh, and by the way, it's only a dollar at the Cove. That commercial was outstanding. Okay, so what's the news, Lexi? Tell me, please. Well, the senior class t-shirts are here and they're being distributed to all of you guys who pre-ordered your shirts. If you haven't ordered yours yet, they're still $15 at the Cove. With, and they have all the names of the senior class on the back. I actually got mine. That's they're wearing one too. Well, I'm not a senior, but I still want to show you guys how cool these shirts are. Yeah, they're really cool. They're only $15 too, right? Yeah, for all of you seniors who have it, go get yours. The Willow Canyon Yearbook Committee is still looking for senior class selfies. So seniors, if you have an awesome selfie you'd like to see in this year's yearbook, email them to wchsprowlerYB at gmail.com. I hope you guys are all loving Spirit Week this week. Today is Misfit Toy Wednesday. So tonight, go to the Buffalo Wild Wings fundraiser. Tomorrow, dress as a grandparent on Thursday and come out to Dutch Brothers Coffee from 5 to 9 p.m. Tomorrow night, and last but not least, Ugly Sweater Friday. And there will be an ice skating night at AZ Ice Peoria this Saturday. Tickets are going to be sold for $10 at both lunches. For more information on these themes and the fun events that go with them, keep an eye on the scrolling announcements or get a flyer from your third hour teacher. We also have an assembly this Friday. Well, that's all the news that we have for you today. Have a great start day, everybody.